What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Cynthia Bailey had to get Miss Wendy Williams together last week when she appeared on her show and Wendy Williams of course took a jab at Cynthia being a boring member of the Real Housewives of Atlanta show. Wendy to Cynthia's face which is what we all love about Wendy. She's messy but at least she is direct and she is not fake. She tells Cynthia that she feels as though she had her daughter Noelle come out as fluid on the show in order to draw a little bit of attention for her. She says, and I quote, not for nothing, but you need a more interesting storyline than the happy married lady. Of course, Cynthia was not going to take that job lying down. So she took the opportunity to clap back at Wendy. She said, listen, I've got to respond to that. Noelle is not a housewife. She does not actually have to share her life with you guys. Let me just say this, and this is really important. The reason I really want to know well to tell her story on the show is because as a reality star family at this point, if we don't talk about it on the show and people find out about it, they almost feel like we're hiding it. I didn't want Noelle to feel ashamed and embarrassed or have to hide her truth. I wanted her to tell her own story. It wasn't for my storyline. It was because she needed to get in front. I think that was a really like, you know, well thought out clap back from Cynthia Bailey. And it's one of the reasons why we all kind of like adore her. Um, you know, she's telling the truth. This is something that if we didn't say anything, people might feel as though we're ashamed, but I also hope that we could eventually reach a place where people don't even have to come out anymore, you know, where Noelle can just have a girlfriend and we all go, all right, she's cute. Now what else is going on? Let's talk about your mom's cheekbones or something of the sort. Do you think that people legitimately would have thought that she was ashamed of Noelle or that Noelle was ashamed of her own sexuality if she didn't come out on the show? I personally don't feel as though that is the case because Tick, for example, the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City I had a really good conversation with this uh, about this with David from Behind the Velvet Rope when he was on my show. But Brooks from Salt Lake City, he hasn't come out as anything, but people have already kind of like you know, assume that he's in the LGBT umbrella. And we kind of were debating, is it a good thing that people just assume that he falls into this kind of category? Or is it necessary for him to make an announcement that he falls into this kind of category? My stance was that I think it's great that like people don't have to make these kinds of announcements anymore. And I hope that we get to that point eventually. You know, I, I'm really curious to hear what you guys' takes are on all of this. It, it's a very delicate line. So, you know, I think the more perspectives on this, the better. Make sure to let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. By the way, was Wendy messy to claim that Cynthia used her daughter for a storyline? You know, do you think that Wendy was implying that Cynthia pushed Noelle out of the closet in order to secure her peach on the Housewives of Atlanta? Comment section down below, please. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.